Hi everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to Sew Custom. Today's video is going to be how I made the pattern for this little number. So this is my twist front dress. I showed how I sewed this one up last Friday. So it might be an idea to have a look at that first before you see this one because it'll make a little bit more sense. But anyway, if you're interested in seeing this one, then let's get started. So the starting point for this pattern is my knit dress block. So I've just laid that on top of some fresh paper and just tracing around the edge, making sure I'm marking my arm notch and indicating where my waist is. Drawing in that waist. And then I'm going to pop a dot at the waist center front point. I'm measuring up three inches from the waist and down three inches from the waist on the side seam giving myself a little bit of a triangle there. This will eventually become a pattern piece of its own, but you'll see that in a second. And then to create the twist, I need to give myself a little bit more fabric at that dot you see me mark. So to do that, I'm using the slash and spread method. I'm drawing myself five lines on the bodice. These lines are two inches apart and they all emanate from that dot. And then for the waist piece, I'm going to draw three lines, and these are one and a half inches apart, again emanating from that dot. I'm going to give myself a one centimeter seam allowance the whole way around before separating these pattern pieces. So this one entire piece will become three pieces. So I'm separating that little triangle you see me draw and that as I say will be my waist piece. I'll have my bodice piece and then the top part of my skirt. There we go. So I'm going to work on the skirt now separately. If I was doing this myself and not filming, I would have done it all in one. But because my camera angle isn't wide enough, you guys wouldn't be able to see, so I'm just doing it separately. So I've just added some fresh paper below the hip line there, and I'm just going to lengthen the skirt piece. So I initially lengthen this by 29 inches, but I do revise that later on. So just take it that this is 23 inches from the hip and then drawing a line straight across the bottom at a right angle to the centre front. That's the bottom of my skirt. And then adding in a one inch hem allowance. Giving myself that same one centimetre seam allowance along the side seam. So that's my skirt piece. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing here as you see me do on the bodice and the waist piece. The only difference here is these lines are four inches apart. And the lines actually can be drawn whatever width apart you want them to be. This just happens to be what worked really well for me. So that's my skirt done. So here's how I'm looking so far. So all I've done is separate my block into three pattern pieces, skirt, bodice, and waist. And as I mentioned earlier, to give myself that extra bit of fabric to create the twist, I'm going to spread each of those lines that I've just drawn. So on the bodice and skirt, I'm spreading those lines by three quarters of an inch. You could spread them more or less, whatever you wanted. This just happens to be what worked for me. So I'm cutting through those lines I drew, stopping just short of the top, opening up my pattern piece, measuring to make sure that I'm at three quarters of an inch, popping in a little dot, and then once I'm happy everything is lying nice and flat, 
I'm sticking everything down and I'm doing exactly the same thing to all of the slash lines on the bodice and exactly the same on the skirt. So slashing open the line, measuring my three quarters of an inch, making sure my pattern paper is nice and flat and sticking everything down once I'm happy. So my last slash line. So now I want to smooth off that little curve that I've created on the bottom. So I'm making sure that my ruler is hitting both the first and last point there. That will give me a nice even curve the whole way across. And then I'm just adding in my normal one centimeter seam allowance. Labeling. So this bodice piece will be cut on the fold. That's what those three circles indicate there. And I'll cut one of them. So onto the skirt. So this is my last slash line. I've done exactly the same thing as I just did on the bodice. So slash through those lines, open them up by three quarters of an inch. And now I'm just smoothing off that nice curve, giving myself my one centimeter seam allowance. Labeling. And this, just like the bodice, will be cut on the fold. So I'll cut one. So that's that done. And you see I've corrected the length there to 23 inches. And then the last piece to spread is my waist piece. And I've kept this in just because I'm spreading it a little bit further. So I'm spreading each of my slash lines by two and a half inches this time. And this measurement is dictated by the measurement on both the skirt and the bodice. So I opened up the skirt and the bodice by three and three quarter inches. And I want to open up this piece by double that. Just because both of those pieces are cut on the fold, this will slot into that nice curve on the bodice and the skirt. And I want it to slot in perfectly at the right measurement. As I mentioned in the intro, it will make a lot more sense if you watched how I sewed this pattern up. So I shall link that below and in a little card above. So the last line to slash there. Slashing to just shy of the top. Spreading by two and a half inches popping in a little dot and then once I'm happy sticking everything down. So doing the same thing here as I did on the bodice and the skirt, using my hip curve to help me out, making sure that I'm touching the first and the last point, giving myself that really nice curve shape. I'm just adding in my standard one centimeter seam allowance. And labeling. So this piece I'll cut two of them. So that's the bulk of this pattern complete. So I have my skirt and my bodice both spread by three and three quarter inches. I have my waist piece spread twice that distance so seven and a half inches and I'm just indicating here when I sew this up where this piece will fit in. So it will fit to the bottom of the bodice and also the second piece will fit to the top of the skirt. I'll then swivel that piece round and the two straight edges will meet and I'll sew those pieces up. As I say, if you watched how I sewed this up video, this will be a lot clearer. So for the rest of the pattern, it's literally just my blocks. So just the standard knit sleeve block I'll be cutting two of those and I've given myself a one centimeter seam allowance. And then for the back, just my standard knit dress block. I just traced it, made sure I've transferred my markings, given myself a one centimeter seam allowance and labeled. This one will be cut on the fold. 
and then I've just lengthened it in exactly the same way as I did the front. Added my one inch hem allowance and I've lengthened this the same distance as the front 23 inches. And that is this entire pattern complete. And once sewn up, this is how it looks. I just love how this has turned out. I think the twist makes the whole thing look super complicated, but actually it's not that complicated at all. Once I got my head around that slash and spread method, this pattern comes together really quickly. I, I just love it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you on Friday in my next one. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye, folks.